Whatever happened to the Kona exec? Hmm, great question. <laughs> paid and let's thank today's sponsor which is Scentbird. Scentbird is a fragrance subscription service that gives you the opportunity to shop from over 600 brands. It's a flexible subscription so you can skip any month without penalties. Scentbird lets you choose a new designer fragrance to try every month for just $16. Every month you get to pick what you'd like to receive so there are no surprises. They have perfumes and colognes and a lot of unisex options. With each fragrance you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try out fragrances before committing to a full bottle. You can also upgrade to receive two or three products a month. Scentbird carries top designer brands like Prada, Gucci, Versace, as well as indie labels like Vince Camuto, The Harmonist, and Confessions of a Rebel. And all of them are 100% authentic. They work directly with the brands. You can discover new fragrances by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird. Based on your preferences, previous purchases, and that quiz will help you find new fragrances that you'll love. Good perfume and good colognes, they cost money and they get very expensive very quickly. Using Scentbird, you get to try these things out at a fraction of the price. Now everyone, just to show you what we're talking about here, I have four right here from Scentbird. This one I have right here, this is Dolce & Gabbana. We've also got Prada. This one is Abercrombie & Fitch. And then we have the final one here in the Blue Vial. And this one, is John Varvatos. All awesome brands that all come in an awesome little package. So you can probably imagine if you travel like at all and you go out with a loved one or maybe you like Tinder a lot. Regardless, these are gonna become your best friends. With Semperd, you can get a great amount of these high-end fragrances for just 16 bucks and then decide if you'd like to get the full size bottle. Use our coupon code GARAGE for 30% off and you'll get your first month for just $11. Every month after that, it's $16 a month. They even have an app you can use, which is incredibly convenient. So everyone, I don't think I need to say anymore. You gotta check out Scentbird. The link is in the description down below. If you travel at all, this is a must. So with all that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. It's a wrap. Last words? It's not a wrap, it's actually paint, but it's a wrap. <laughs> Final thoughts is, who knows, maybe it'll come back to me again. <laughs> I can't wait to see what Houston's gonna do this car. And look at it, it still wants to drive because the tachometer's stuck at 1200 RPM. So present day, whatever happened to the Kona exec? Hmm, great question. Where did it go? Let's let's <laughs> circle back. Let's, let's have a full discussion about it. Okay. So when I first got the Koenigsegg, I've been watching Houston's videos and I really loved the livery that he put on, but I loved the black car that he originally bought. And I was like, man, that thing is just cool. And what was great about that car, it was an affordable hypercar. Mm -hmm. 
Um, you know, it's an under a million dollar hypercar. When Houston wanted to part ways with it when he was going to do some other investment stuff, I bought the car from him. I definitely, he and I have a lot of the same visions Minus what he's done per currently. I mean, I, I love what you've done, Houston, but I could never show up at, at Quail and look at Christian in the face and say, yeah, I made it plum, plum or uh, purple and uh, an orange. But you know what? It looks good. I mean, it does look good. So, Houston, your conversation with Mr. Koenigsegg. It's time to go. I said no. Basically, short answer. I was like, look, man, I'm like so close to doing a full Aguero conversion. Can I just have the taillights and the headlights? He was like, well, first, they're not going to fit. And I said, I understand. They're not going to fit. Yes, but I'll make them fit. And he was like, yeah, I don't really want to make a Frankenstein car. And he was being really nice about it. But basically, he was like, no. That reminds me. Do you remember um, Gold Rush? Do you remember we made that video where uh, the car broke down? Oh, no! Kill it! The video of us breaking down in California with the Bagani and, and, yeah. and the Christian called me up and said, hey, I see the cars breaking down a lot in it and I want to be able to help you. Can we do a full service on the car for you and all that stuff? Let's take a step back. You said he just Christian just called you casually. Yeah. He just called you casually. <laughs> you just happen to have his number or he has yeah. your number? He has my, we both have each other's numbers. Most of the owners of Koenigsegg's know Christian personally. As it turned out, it wasn't that big of a deal what was going on with the car. What happened was the air conditioning system was a little bit cockeyed, and when the belt was on it, it was throwing the belt. That's what was causing everything to happen, overheat, all that stuff. So it really wasn't that big of a deal. It wasn't an expensive repair or anything like that. It just was something that needed to be fixed. I would say the CCX is an amazing car. It's an amazing prototype car. Okay. Um, it's not the prototype. I know your people are going to bash me for it, but it's not. It, it was never fully perfect. Um, it had very strange componentry to it. The air conditioning system never really worked very well. Yada yada yada. There's all these things about it. But that's okay. That's a first. You know, a first production car for a company. Now, now the latest Koenigseggs are amazing. I don't own one, but I've certainly driven in one and sat in them, and the fit and finish is way better. So anyway, going back, after getting it done, drove it around a lot, we got uh, finally got Camillo and 1K involved, and that was, a, that was a major deal help, thanks to Houston for the introduction on that. And those guys really knocked it out of the park with the car. At the same time, it's you've really got to like a project car. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best way of putting it. You've got to love a project car. I was getting tired of project cars. Don't take it on a rally. <laughs> Don't take it on a rally. You know, it's a local car. There's a lot of, I, I, I vision things a lot differently than a lot of other people do. Like, I'm like, oh, I'm getting a wild groupie rally car. I'm going to take it on the rally with me. People are thinking, you're going to go drive that thing 500, 600, 1,000 miles. No, I'm going to take it on the rally and use it at certain points where I felt like the Koenigsegg should be able to handle that kind of a rally. And it could now, I guess. Well, traffic aside... Koenig's egg wise, have you thought about getting or considered getting another one or are you gonna roll with the Pagani for a little bit? Of my cars that I own, that is my favorite car. The SVJ is still gonna be my favorite car because it's my true first crazy exotic on for the channel. Yep. And I love that car. I mean, driving it all for the weekend with Paolo and with Valentino Balboni, which was very special. Um, that's an amazing thing. I love mm -hmm. the fact that Valentino still describes the car as the same thing. It depends on what you like. If you like a beautiful blonde girl that you, you know, you'd be maybe ashamed to take home with your mother, or is it the beautiful brunette with the tight back hair? Then, mm -hmm. you know, it's just classic. And if you want to show how I described that, cut back to the when we, when we recorded that. Everybody asked me the same question, which is my favorite car to drive. And I said, depends on what mood you're in and what kind of car attitude you're interested in driving. So like, for example, the Porsche and we, we, you, you, they relate it to, you know, to women. The Porsche is the nuclear biologist who is intelligent, smart, gorgeous, and sexy. Then you've got the Ferrari, which is the beautiful, you know, Italian, sophisticated woman who is just drop 
update sexy and the kind of woman you'd want to bring home to your, to your mom and say, Mom, Dad, this is my girl I'm going to marry. And then there's the Lamborghini. Lamborghini is the girl you want to nobody to meet. And she's just dirty, raunchy, and nasty. Sounds like you've so got something <laughs> you're driving one. Well, but this is the SUV, so this is like the dirty mom. So this is this is the MILF? <laughs> this is the MILF. <laughs> yeah, this is the mom I'd like to drive, the MILF. It's the MILF, it's the mom I'd like to drive. You ended up selling it back to Houston? I ended up selling it back to Houston, and obviously... If you haven't watched it? Yeah. It is purple with orange Hermes interior. And What's he's going plan? for a twin turbo. So he's taking the superchargers off? He's taking the superchargers off. And he's going twin turbo. Be the first CCX twin turbo in existence. Oh my God! That has to be him. Here he comes. Rachel. I knew that was him, but I looked out the window and I didn't catch it. And then I was like. Oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna come in five minutes. I gotta move the newspaper so he can get in the driveway. <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> we heard you like, I think starting from your driveway up the street. Right. <laughs> oh my God. Thing is ridiculous. Is it first time driving it today? This is my first time driving it around and having stupid fun, yeah. <laughs> well, I heard you and I was like, that's gotta be Randy. Cause, and then by the time I got over it, normally we can hear people coming this way or like you can hear people and it's enough time. You were so quick that I was like, oh shit, we, you know, maybe that wasn't him. Oh yeah. And then when I heard you the second time, I was like, oh, hell no, that's, that's him. Wow. All right, it is just, I mean, it's brand new. Yeah. And I was like, oh fresh. My God. How clean that is. I know. When do you ever see like a race car that clean? When do you see like anything, anything, like, anything like that it looks old, but it's brand new? Yeah. That's what I loved about La Carrera because you look and you're like, oh, these are all 50s and 60s cars. And it's like, no, the only thing about them is the body shape. Everything underneath is like a you know quarter million dollar NASCAR car. This car is brand new. It's not brand new. It is a literally identical minus a manual gearbox and air conditioning. It is a spark spot on match. But it doesn't have the provenance. So like you could drive this and not be like, oh my god, this I've is not. This has this, this has yeah. never been driven. This is yeah. literally. This became from an Audi frame. This car for me. <laughs>
something happened. Okay, let's let's reset. We must have lost the um the cable maybe came yeah, off. Yeah, something. It's my guess. Ticket, 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 ticket